All this year, Fox 17 News is bringing you Project Nashville, a deep dive every Wednesday here on Fox 17 News at 9 into how Nashville is managing our historic growth. Speaking of which, during Nashville's boom, city leaders so far have been unable to fund planned and promised pay raises for city workers, including teachers. Tonight, a Fox 17 News investigation into why a school budget of nearly a billion dollars doesn't get to Nashville teachers in this week's Project Nashville. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ursula Smith Freeze. lays her heart on the line okay? every day. I love first grade. <laughs> she organized Camp Reed at Neely's Bend in Madison because she didn't want the summer off. I just have a love for education and I, I hope to instill that same love with my students. She's smart. I have a master's. <laughs> and thinks her booming city's educational priorities are out of order. They no longer value education. That's how I truly feel. Teachers have been the loudest after Metro leaders reneged on promised pay raises for city workers. <coughs> Project Nashville compared Metro schools to other similar districts to see how the school budget is spent. They talked about how as a district we are top heavy. The admins are making a nice salary. The teachers who are directly in the classroom involved with learning uh, make significantly less than the people who are administrating. It's an issue Metro Councilwoman Jacobia Dowell is focused on. I think we're top heavy and I don't make that uh, comment loosely. Fox 17 News is showing you the organizational chart for Metro schools. There are a lot of chiefs. We have, you know, of course, you know, the chief administrator, then you have the administrator of schools, of course, the school board person. Then under that school board person, we have area superintendents and um, EDSSI superintendents and a principal than a vice principal. Now look at the organizational chart for Charlotte, North Carolina. Here's St. Louis, Missouri. Side by side, you see there are fewer administrators at the top in these other similar sized districts compared to metro schools. Each time we've tried to make significant increases uh, for the teachers in the classroom, uh, the money never gets to them. Most of those administrative positions Project Nashville found pay more than $70,000 a year, and many pay six figures. If we're talking about the incoming president of the teachers' know, union, Amanda Kale. There may be positions that we could do without, but I don't think that's the answer. I think the answer is bringing everybody else up. You can't cut an underfunded school system into being funded. You just can't. By comparison, Project Nashville found a Metro teacher with 15 years experience makes $57,000 a year. That's below the regional average of $64,000. For context, the latest cost of living analysis from Go Banking Rates shows one person needs more than $80,000 a year to live comfortably in the IT city, where housing prices have skyrocketed. You have highly educated individuals who can't afford to live by themselves. That's crazy. Give teachers an opportunity if they want to stay in the classroom to make six-figure salaries and create an organizational structure that, um, that you don't have to leave the classroom to go into an administrative position to uh, make uh, a good income. That's something only a new superintendent can change. And with the search underway and interim leadership in place, trimming at the top isn't likely to happen soon. We have heard from many of you for our Project Nashville series, and we thank you for your ideas. So if you have any ideas for us tonight, you can write us at fox17.com right there at the top under the Project Nashville tab or call our tip line 615-259-5631.